Hi everyone, welcome back with Take Go Easy. My name is Yanni. I'm doing this home decor channel together with Diane and I hope you are ready for our daily home decor inspiration. And for our next DIY, you see already a little bit what we will need, but the main thing is a cork. Of course, you can use them for uh, setting your um, a pen on top of it when you have your dinner but they you can buy them with ikea and they are very cheap to uh to buy so i think dollar tree also will have them i have uh, some couple of the black wooden letters i'm using some paint the yellow the brown the black of course some uh, lemons uh, a little bit of the white chalk paint and some uh, little piece of the thicker rope. So you see already, this is a little bit of the main things we will need for our next DIY. And here you see already, I took one of the uh, corks already. And what I'm going to do, I will give them a base coat with my chalk paint white. Because uh, or else it, uh, everything you do will suck in into the cork. So we are going to give it one layer of the white chalk paint to seal it a little bit so just go ahead it doesn't matter how you do it just give it a base coat with the chalk white of course you can do if you have an old uh, gray one old black one it doesn't matter but i hope you have a little bit of the white because later on with you because you have to paint the sides then it's always better that you have a, a lighter on the ground so if you have white, cream or something else, I hope you uh, give a base coat with that because black is a little bit dark to give it a base coat. What you also can do is give it a base coat with some Mod Podge. You also can do that. So I will finish off this one and then we do the next step. So you see already the first coat is dried up. What I'm going to do right now, I just take a simple riser or you can use a, a, a lid or something else. But uh, this riser is for me the uh, greatest uh, shape. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it upside down and just lay it on top so I get a nice um, yeah, a centimeter, two, uh, two centimeters of a nice um, side on my um, little round what i'm going to do i'm just going to take a pencil and i'm going to i have to look carefully if i have totally in the middle because this <laughs> this just most of the time i'm going to draw with a pencil just the round over it so you see now we have already our round inside our round what i'm going to do I'm just going to, with some black text marker, I'm going to make little uh, black uh, square, um, little yeah, squares, I think, almost squares. I have to look carefully if my riser is in the middle because I don't, I really <laughs> don't like it if it doesn't in the middle. So I have to look. So I can show you a little bit better what I mean if I show it to you this way. <laughs> this is the little squares I'm going to do. So I made first a round and then I did with some pencil just an even kind of um, lace because we make one black, one white, one black, one white, one black and uh, around the whole circle. So I'm going to start with my text marker, of course, and I'm going to make one black. And just draw in the little lines and try not to go over the side but if you do a little bit over the side it's not an, a totally uh, <laughs> totally wrong because later on we will uh, work the sides away with a, a piece of thicker rope so it doesn't matter if you go a little bit over the sides just go ahead and make a nice little black uh, name that we're going to do one white and then we go over to the second one and we do again one black but if you are great in painting you also can take the black paint and just do it in the black color so i'm going to do uh, this side and then show you how it is looking like and this is uh, eventually what i mean because uh, when you see it it's always a little bit easier than then i tell you it in my english so i think it looks already very nice what i'm going to do right now i'm going to 
uh, do the middle with a little bit of the darker yellow of course you can use a light yellow but i'm going to use a little bit of the lighter yellow so i'm going to uh, do this whole middle circle uh, with the yellow and later on we also can make this line uh, totally black because but i do that uh, after i did my yellow so i will make my yellow now so i took uh, my little tube with the, the yeah, little bit of the brighter yellow and i did a little bit of the brown with it so it was it's a little bit of a mess but <laughs> eventually it turned out a little bit of the darker <laughs> darker brown color what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to paint the middle of our circle and of course i have to work with it and I have to be careful that I don't do it on the black side. So I will finish this and then I show you the step, the next step. So you see already, I did the yellow uh, two uh, coats inside of here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a text marker and I'm going to draw out a line around the circle. So of course I show you a little piece. of course i'm trying to do it as uh, best as i can so you see here already i did uh, one line i will do the whole circle and then we are going to do decorate the middle and the top you see here i have the black lines on top of it and i did it with a marker but if you are really great in uh, making lines with paint of course, with paint, I think it's a little bit uh, nicer to see this. So if you are really uh, great and uh, established with your hands, then I hope you uh, do it with some paint. What we're going to do, we take some uh, a piece of the bigger uh, ribbon, of a ribbon um, rope. Of course, I have to cut out. I should have done this earlier, of course, I know. And I am going to measure out. Because I want to end on the uh, bottom of our this a little bit this way, but also I want to have room for making a loop on top. So I'm going to first what I'm going to start with is making a loop for over here. You see already I'm taking some glue and I'm going to glue these two pieces together so I have a nice uh, loop to work it inside of a wreath of you can hang it on your door. But so I'm, first I'm going to glue two pieces uh, together and just do the loop as long as you think you need. So I'm just going to do a little bit of glue on the rope and just lay, laying it against each other. This, <laughs> don't worry, this was my <laughs> glue gun. He is fall, <laughs> falling over. I'm sorry, <laughs> that was me a bit big. <laughs> You see, I am glue this one together. Now we're going to measure out a little bit how far I need to go. Do it a little bit wider. So I'm going to cut it off over here. So I can remove. The so I'm going to do this one and just going to glue this on the sides of our. You see, I'm going to do a little bit on the. First, and I'm going to place my rope, just pull it apart a little bit and just squeeze it inside on the sides and just keep it in place for a little moment. And of course, we're going to go a little bit further. I try to do it for you so you can see it in the camera. So, you see. I'm going to do the whole uh, round and then I show you how it's looking like. And here you see how he is looking like with the twine around it. It's so easy to make. You just see you don't need a lot of things so you can make your own little display. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take my uh, letters. I use the black letters for uh, um, writing here squeeze and from the uh, the a little uh, size smaller I'm going to make the letters uh, squeeze today so I am going to lay them down and then I show you 
And here you see already how it's looking like with some letters on top of it. I know you read it backwards, but later on when I show you the result, you will see them <laughs> the right way because my telephone is turned over. So I wrote squeeze the day. I am going to do this letters, the blank letters I'm going to make uh, with some furniture wax to give them a little bit more of the rustic feeling, but do whatever you like. If you like them in the white color better, it's also fine. Do what you think is fitting for your decor. I'm going to glue this on top of here and then we are going to make a little arrangement on top of here and some ribbon. And here you see already the letters are glued on top of here and I will uh, do this in the furniture wax but I do this at the last thing I do on this uh, little uh, sign. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to take some pieces of an old garland. I just ripping it uh, off and then you see already on the underside you see some piece of the plastic stamp i always cut it uh, off because it looks much better even when you don't see it all the all the time but i am going to glue three of them a little bit out of the middle so i'm leaving a little part i think a centimeter or two three i'm leaving open for my bow so i'm going to work a little bit with it i'm going to glue two pieces over here and two pieces over here and then I show you the next step so you see already this is how I I showed you a little bit closer two a little bit this way uh, one this way and also the same way over here what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to take now to another green um, piece I'm just going to cut it off so I have two what I'm going to do I'm just going to glue one on top of the other one very easy to do and just a little bit also a little bit sideways a little bit this way this is a, bit, a little bit what i mean so i'm going to wait until my glue is dried up and what i'm going to do i'm going to glue the back side and i'm going to lay it on top of the middle of this piece so i'm going to lay it down I show you in a moment a little bit better so I just lay them a little bit in the middle of the two you just glued on top of here I think he is almost dried up then don't worry about the glue right now because later on you can work that away you just have to make sure that everything is fit on top of your little sign you see here this is a little bit i just did glued it on top of here so i hope you can see it on camera one over here one over here and these two in the middle and what i'm going to do right now on this side also i'm just going to take an, another piece of my garland just cut it off and i'm going to do on top of this two i'm going to finish it off i'm going to do one of this one to let it come back again so I'm just laying it also on top of here again and I wait a second and then I show you a little bit better in the camera so it is very easy just if you like it you can um, redo it yourself because it is so easy and so yeah, I think it's really farmhouse looking if I am at least if I can say so myself <laughs> so you see this is a little bit what I mean. I'm also going to do this on this way and then we're going to make our, um, no, not our bow. We are going to squeeze in also, but because we squeeze the day, we need some lemons. And here you see already we did both of the sides the same way, but you can go as crazy as you like. If you want to have lots of more greenery, also fine too. I leave it with it because a little bit simple. I take some uh, lemons I bought already uh, in a garden center. They are were there already so for so long that here in the Netherlands first we had before we had the euros, we had guldens. So they were uh, still priced in guldens, and that is already from 2000, <laughs> 2000. So this they were already in store for almost twenty years. They are under the. Um, this, how do you call it? stuff at least they already were very old so i am going to get the pin out and i'm going to do some little um uh, i don't know you call it tooth toothpick if i am correct i don't know if i say it right and i am squeeze this inside of the lemon so i get a nice little pick so you can get this same way 
And of course, I saw already on Dollar Tree that you also can buy some of the little lemons. So uh, are you already lucky? So I'm going to, I'm probably going to put it a little bit further in and then I'm going to glue it inside of here. And I did my lemons on top of here. And for me, he is finished right now. But what are we going to do? I'm going to make a little bow, an easy bow, a simple bow uh, for in the middle. But you can go all the way you like. If you want to have a an, 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 an funky bow, just do whatever you think is right. I'm going to keep it very simple. So I'm going to do two pieces of ribbon. I have the um, yeah, jute of um, burlap, how you call it. And I'm going to use some black ribbon and I'm going to lay them on top of each other. I always fold it this way and fold it this way and then I always squeeze it in the middle and then you get a nice little bow. And finally here you see the result of our homemade lemon squeeze a day sign. And if you are imagine that we only made it from a simple and cheap uh, cork you buy at Dollar Tree or Ikea. And of course you also can make it from a piece of cardboard you have laying around. So enough options to use. So I am very happy how it turned out. And of course I hope you enjoy the inspiration. And it gives such a nice springy summery feeling. So we all need that from time to time. So I hope you enjoyed watching. And we hope to see you in our next DIY. So this was it already for this daily home inspiration. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this content, I hope you will consider subscribing to our channel. Have a beautiful day everyone. Bye.